So tell me what you saw and heard. Um, well, I was in the middle of doing my pricing in like the younger girls aisle, and then I heard what I thought was a bike tire popping, but like I saw everyone panicking, and I was like, that's probably not a bike tire. People are going to be panicking. So then I just ran to the fitting room. And then more gunshots were heard, and that's when I was like, that's definitely not something funky, you know, it was a like, shooter. And so we were just, I was bunkered out in this fitting room with like three, two other women, so it was us three in there, and yeah, it was pretty scary. And then how long were you in that fitting room? Um, I'd say give or take like 30, 40 minutes. And you were just hunkered down because you didn't know what was going on? Yeah. And I, I know a few of them were like, let's run, let's make a run for it. And I was like, that's the worst idea. Let's stay where we are. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so we just kind of were grabbing our stuff, like boots and a little shelf thingy. And we're like, we can hit him with this if he tries to come here. So, um, you know, we were just doing what we could in there, just keeping quiet, staying calm, or at least trying to. So. Were you able to? <laughs> oh, I was, but the two other ladies I was with were... Pretty panicky. Were they so. fellow co-workers of yours? Um, no, they were two uh, guests. A guest? So. A, no yep. kidding. And um, how old do you think they were? Mm, I'd say one of them had to be like 40, 50, and 30. One of them was in Now, what 30s. department do you work in? The style department. You're in the style department. Yeah. And that's where, where were the, and if you had to guess where in the store the shots were coming from, were they coming like near the front or? or I feel like they were coming, it sounded like they were coming from the back of the store, but then again, I could be wrong because he was with the rifle, so I doubt he would have made it that far into the store without being recognized holding this big old thing. So, I don't know. So, eventually did, when did you finally leave the fitting room? What, what ha finally happened there? Well, we heard, I thought I heard the police say, get on the ground. So I was like, okay, that means he's getting taken care of. And then uh, police were like, identify yourself, like in the fitting room, like identify yourself, who's in there. And so then we came out and yeah. And then from there, we were taken care of by them. So. They kind of ushered you out of the store? Where did they, um, uh, did they usher you into like a room or somewhere? Well, they took us to the like front of the store. So like in the back rooms where we have all of our stock and pickup borders. And so we were just, chilling in there for a while they took our names gave us some water made sure everyone was okay and then they did a third sweep of the store and then we were able to go to Panera Bread where we were interviewed by detectives I think so okay okay and um so you did you get a sense that he had been shot by did you get a sense for what had happened to the shooter well I mean I I could have assumed so so I don't know if I can say it or not but yeah okay and but you were not told what had happened with him or no. were you okay but i heard a, i think i heard like a gunshot after the police were like get on the ground so i can assume he was shot but oh really how soon after did you hear the get on the ground after after the initial gunshot um like i'd say like a few seconds like 30 to a minute really yeah so you heard get on the ground and then you heard an additional a gunshot following no so. kidding yeah and were you already in the fitting room by that time um what do you mean? What, like, when you heard them oh, the get on the ground? Yeah, okay. I was. Because you got in the fitting room very quickly. Yeah, I just kind of bolted, and then this lady with her pants unbuttoned was like, we got to, <laughs> was like, get in, what else that? And so we are kind of just rushing ourselves in there. So I'm glad I wasn't alone in that fitting room, but.